There are several reasons why you should get the iPhone 15 Pro Max and not the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, when it comes to the design, the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the S23 Ultra here are likely the heavyweight champions of the smartphone world right now. Well, here's where the iPhone might be a little bit better. The iPhone here might be a tad bit lighter, but don't let that fool you. It's actually built like a tank, thanks to its titanium frame, which is a better choice for strength as opposed to the aluminum frame you get from the S23 Ultra. But most of the time, you would be using cases with your iPhone. Even though you get an IP68 rating for both of the smartphones, the iPhone can take a dive in the pool up to 6 meters for 30 minutes, while the Samsung can and actually paddle around in 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. So this goes about four times the depth. When it comes to the displays on the smartphones, both the iPhone and the S23 Ultra bring up their A games, but the iPhone takes the cake here when it comes to brightness. You get about 2000 nits of brightness on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and 1750 nits of brightness on the Samsung here. Now, honestly, in real life, you wouldn't really notice the difference in terms of the brightness on these devices. It is quite negligible, but it's actually there. Now, both displays are amazingly good and you get a ceramic shield on the iPhone, but Gorilla Victus 2 on the Samsung. Now, let's dive into the world of biometric magic. iPhones have something called Face ID, for those of you who still live on that rock, and it's actually so secure. I'm not trying to say this is a bulletproof option, but it keeps the bad guys away. Sure, one of the reasons I dislike the iPhone's display is the notch, and this is the same reason you get a secure biometric Face ID feature, as that's where the sensors are hidden. Because of how secure this is, you can use your Face ID with your banking apps, unlike the Samsung's Face Unlock feature, which is not as secure, and you can't use that to authenticate transactions on your banking applications. I think of Face ID as one of those seamless features Apple fanboys pride themselves in. Now, I know on paper the Samsung Galaxy here has that camera of our dreams, but you gotta try out the iPhone 15 Pro Max's camera to be able to save that. Personally, I most often than not prefer the photos from the S23 Ultra, especially for my skin tone, but in certain instances, I see a reason why the iPhone is a beast when it comes to photos. You get great dynamic range, good photos from the smartphone, and occasionally better photos when you zoom into images, and that's compared to something that has a 200 megapixel sensor on here. Also, when it comes to the videos, the iPhone has the best video quality, no doubt. You get ProRes video, which is also an Apple log profile, giving you more dynamic range, and you won't find a better video quality on any other smartphone right now. And that's not a joke, it is a fact. All right, let's talk about the brains behind these beauties here. The A17 Bionic chip is what you get from the iPhone here, and you can run performance tests or benchmarking apps and see that the iPhone 15 Pro Max flexes its muscles. It's just the better, stronger, more powerful processor you get from the smartphones. But here's the kicker. It's like having a Ferrari in traffic. Whoa. You've got all the power, but you're stuck in that traffic jam. The iPhone's raw power is often untapped in everyday use. You might find yourself asking, why does my iPhone have this whole power, but I'm not able to use this for things like multitasking. I feel like the iPhone 15 Pro Max's inability to multitask locks out the potentials here, but on paper, it has the better and faster chip. Now let's talk about the batteries here. The iPhone might have a slightly smaller battery compared to the S23 Ultra. You get 4422mAh battery on the iPhone and a 5000mAh battery from the S23 Ultra. And I've been able to squeeze out a few more minutes at the end of the day from the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, those weren't scientific tests. I just had to use the smartphones all through the day. And it could as well be that I use more of the Android device than iPhone devices, but this is to say that you get a solid battery life on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. As far as longevity and software support here, you should expect a minimum of five years OS updates on the iPhone and about four years from the S23 Ultra, but you're gonna get an additional one year of security patch for your S23 Ultra. You know, you would be getting a year extra OS support on your iPhone if you decide to go that route. At the end of the day, these are just great smartphones and it all depends on which OS you prefer. You wouldn't really go wrong with any of these devices on this table right here. But here are 10 reasons you should go pick up the S23 Ultra instead of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Koei